The, the main thing is that we will all have access to real-time data and the tools to make sense of it. And so whether you're an emergency responder trying to fight a forest fire or a uh, small business trying to find the best price for the components that go into your widget or a school district trying to make sure that every student is learning in the best possible way, using the best possible tools, using methods that work uniquely for them, we're going to have these new tools to do it. Uh, I'm very excited about it. I think the big killer applications are going to be the things we don't even predict now. But they will disrupt fundamentally. Just like Craigslist disrupted the newspapers by eliminating half of the revenue that newspapers got from classified ads. Those will be the kind of surprises we won't, won't be able to understand until they happen. I teach a class at Georgetown entitled How to Predict the Futures. The easy part is predicting how the technology will change. What new capabilities will we have? How fast will the networks be? How cheap will it be to collect and store information? It's pretty easy to see how we'll use them for video, for artificial intelligence. It's really hard to figure out the killer applications. And it's even harder to know what the implications of those killer applications will be, both domestically and around the world. So stay tuned. Uh, all we know is it's going to happen faster than ever before. And we know that there's going to be a lot more political fights and, and corporate fights as companies engage to try to steal each other's customers and block each other's progress.